Hello and welcome to a new episode of Trailer Talk. I told you I'd be doing these more often now. Um, thanks for all the lovely comments on all our trailers from last week. Um, thumbs up if you like Trailer Talk before we get started. And please leave a comment below on any of the games you see in today's episode. There's some interesting ones. And, um, and yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Alright, this first trailer is a trailer that for a game that I, I often featured in trailer talk over the years, I feel like. Um, that's because Frozen Bite always makes some pretty good trying trailers. In fact, they always kind of sell me on these games. And truth is, I think I think those this trying games are pretty cool. Uh, they are very beautiful. And they're doing something a little different this time. I think Trine 2 is a little too much like the first Trine. But hey, look. At first it looks like it's kind of 2.5D. But then look, 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 look. They're actually running around in a 3D space. This is the first 3D Trine game, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's, it's a big... I don't know. I don't know if it's just for transitions or... It, it's hard, like... Some of these moments it kind of looks like 2.5D, like it's still kind of locked in a plane, it's just sort of twisting around. But then other times it looks full 3D, it's hard to tell. I will say this, while the Trine games have always looked really beautiful in trailers, for such a nice looking indie series, there's a healthy amount of jank, especially with the animations and stuff. So even though the trailers always look amazing, I let me pause here. There's a, to me. There's always been a lot of weird, janky issues with this series. That's not holding back the game. I'm just a little concerned that moving into 3D, which is a big step, might mean there's even more jank. But uh, I don't know. Maybe they're using a new engine. I think it always had to do with the platforming and stuff being real physicsy, and that can be just you know, like think about Little Big Planet. It just it just can come off really janky so I don't know we'll see the art direction still beautiful as always I just hope they kind of iron out some of that <clears throat> Peggy some of that 12 level of jank all right so this next trailer is for a game that has been released and I have tried in the past um, but this is a new version coming out for the Vita that's La Mulana EX now, this is a game that I've always heard is kind of like one of the ultimate Metroidvanias. It's also very difficult with very obtuse like puzzles and riddles and stuff. And I think that's why I ended up stopping uh, playing like when I first played this game. But I'm looking at this trailer and I'm seeing all these awesome bosses and moments like this. Look at look at he's a fucking white boss on a minecart. It just looks really cool, and I'm wondering, is it worth it to give this game another shot? Let me know if you've played this game below, if you'd like to see me play some of this game. Should I just kind of play it with an FAQ open, and if I get stuck, just don't let that... Look, 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 it's cool, man! Looks cool! For such a big fan of Metroidvanias, I can't believe I have not played through one of the the more higher regarded and... and uh, uh, no. And uh, more challenging ones. Alright, this next trailer... Well, if your room's close to Alex, it's a trailer for this new indie game like called Oxen Free. Like I've heard plenty of jokes about it being the follow-up to Ali Ali. What are we actually doing? But no, it is a. Uh, it is kind of it's it's interesting. It looks kind of like a side-scrolling adventure game, Alex, but with a dialogue system. From, I already forgot where. Yeah, he's cool. So. Nice. Definitely has a really cool Probably style to it. Right. The voice acting seems really well done. Very cool. Can somebody change the station? And there's a little bit of a twist. This is cool. Changing the music. What's so um special about this place? The island was a military fort. That... Um, it's a tourist trap for morons who want to buy Christmas ornaments in World War II. Fact. Now it's hard to tell if the if the dialogue choices are just actually different people saying different things. No, I guess it's all from the same. Let's explore. Person, but it looks like different people say different things at different times. So it's weird how much agency you have in the story, maybe. Or maybe. Wait, wait, hold on. 
Maybe the dialogue is all from the same girl. Why would that... The hell? So the twist is that things seem kind of creepy and weird. Which is where it can get kind of exciting. Kind of a twist on a horror mystery, I guess. Does it hurt? <laughs> Looks cool. Looks good. I don't know. I like it. I would like to see more. Though I am a known fan of games like Gone Home and The Walking Dead, so... I don't need a lot of gameplay in my games, right? Alright, this next trailer is for a game that I think looks pretty cool. I will say that at a first glance, that looks a lot like the dude from Hyper Light Drifter, but hey, who am I to judge? First glance, this kind of looks like, uh, like Castlevania. A little bit of an old school Castlevania. I like the way the sprites look kind of messy. I don't know how you describe that, but I like the, the way the sprites look. You know, cool fucking slashing and blocking. Uh, it, it looks nice. But there's a twist in this one too. It's like Castlevania meets Shadow of the Colossus. That's right, you're like climbing colossi. Check this shit out. Bionic Commando Colossus. Crazy. Look at this! This looks cool. This looks cool. That's pretty badass. I don't know. Never really just saw this trailer out of nowhere. Never heard of this developer. But man, indie devs. Like, guys, people that can make games, they miss fucking games like Symphony of the Night. You could tell. You could fucking tell. Konami should see all these games and go, hey, maybe people actually want these games. Because god damn it. This shit looks cool. Death's Gambit. I don't know. I'm curious to see more. Just looks pretty sweet. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Trailer Talk. Thanks for watching. Remember, thumbs up if you like Trailer Talk. Please leave a comment below. Um, if you'd like to, me to cover any other trailers that you've seen out there, mention it in the comments below and I'll read those and uh, we'll see if they can make it into next week's episode of Trailer Talk. Thanks for watching and have a great day.